Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. Today we're gonna to be testing the casting distance between a 20 pound braid versus a 10 pound braid, all else considered equal. We have a 20 pound braid mounted on the same exact reel, same exact rod combination, same weight, same lure, which is a weight in this case, the same everything. The only difference is the actual line. So again, this is a 20 pound line versus a 10 pound line. What we're gonna do is we're gonna test two different weights First off, we're going to do a 3 16th ounce weight, which is on the light spectrum. Then next, we're going to do a 1 half ounce weight, which is a little bit heavier to see, again, how the, the actual distance, the casting distance differs between one line versus the other. A lot of people, you know, they, they look at the, the braid and see a, a 20 pound braid and it shows on the package that it's equivalent to like a 6 pound mono and think that, oh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and use a 20 pound braid. But that is, that is going to be losing some casting distance compared to a 10 pound braid. How much that distance is, I'm really not sure. And that's why I decided to go ahead and do this test because I typically use a 10 pound line and I'm confident that, that the fact that I do that, I can cast further than if I was using 20. But at the end of this video, I'll share with you the exact difference between the two, whether you're using a, a lighter lure versus a heavier lure. All right, so how this contest is gonna work is I have everything ready and I'm gonna cast down the shoreline and then we're gonna measure each cast with one of these flags. We have pink flags and gray flags. We have 10 of each. And then we also have the, the distance measure where we can actually walk out the distance and then we're going to measure the difference again on the casting distance from the 10 pound line versus the 20 pound line with the different weights. All right, so the first test I'm going to cast with the uh, 10 pound braid. We're going to cast down this beach and I have Jacob here and he's going to, uh, to measure the distance. So I just did the five tests with the, uh, the 10 pound braid. Now we switched over to the 20 and we're gonna cast that same direction and we're gonna see what the difference is. All right, so I had this zeroed out. I'm gonna go ahead and, and walk it down. But uh, as you'll see here, as we get closer, is the, the 10 pound braid was noticeably longer than the uh, 20 pound. So the uh, braid, so the braid was the, was the gray. And if you can zoom in here, this is a 102, 102 feet, 103, it's just over hundred feet. Um, so that is basically all those, all five of those casts were really close to one another. So again, 100, we'll say 103. And then further down here is the, uh, is the braid. And so if I'm throwing lures, which I typically do, if I know I can get an extra, this looks like 15 plus feet. If I know I can get an extra 15 feet, I'm gonna take it. I think that's a huge advantage. So now we're at 120, 123, 124. Yeah, so 128. And we actually have some a little bit further. So we can just go ahead and maybe round that one up to 130. So that is, uh, again, 130 feet for, the, uh, for the, the braid. It's all nice here and compact versus 115 for the, uh, the 20 pound braid. Right, so for lighter lures, using a 10 pound braid versus a 20 pound braid gives a significant advantage. Again, that's a, a 103 versus a 130. That's, uh, that's over 25% further distance with just simply by using a 10 pound braid versus a 20 pound. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna recreate the same, same test. We're gonna use a one half ounce weight and uh, see if the, if the percentage change. I'm sure it will, it's just a matter of how much. I think it'll be a little bit closer, but uh, we'll let you know here in a second. All right, so I just switched over to a heavier weight. This is one half ounce weight, and we're gonna do that same test and see what the difference is. All right, I just did the five casts with the, uh, the heavier weight and the 20 pound braid, and it was significantly further than the prior test. So we're gonna do the same, uh, same weight, just with the 10 pound braid. All right, we just finished the test and that, the 10 pound line went significantly further based on sight, but we're gonna go ahead and measure it out. We have this zeroed. So we're uh, right now we're at the spot where the 20 pound braid was landing uh, with that lighter, the lighter weight. So now we're at 174, really 175 uh, feet. That's right here in the middle. We'll say even 176 to be right in the middle of uh, where the 20 pound braid was casting. That's a long cast and typically I'd say that's really good, but you know, as I said before, we did the 20 pound test and then we did the 10 pound line afterwards. And, you, and all the 10 pound line are all in these, uh, these pink, 
these pink flags. So we're at 176. We're going to go over to the pink and see how much further the pink line, you know, the, the 10 pound line got further than the 10 or the 20 pound. So this is 211, 211 feet to be in the middle. Uh, maybe we'll do an even 212. That's 36 feet further than what that 20 pound braid was doing. That is significant. You know, although it's not quite as high a percentage as the first test with the lighter, uh, you know, the lighter weight, there was like a 30% difference at that point. This is more in the 20% in the range. I didn't bring a calculator, so I'll have to do the math later. But whether, whatever the percentage is, again, the fact that it's over 30 feet, that is a big difference. So if you're targeting fish and you're casting, if you're casting a lot of lures, you're doing a lot of casting, you're targeting fish that can be successfully caught with a 10 pound line as well as a 20 pound line, I would recommend going to the 10 because that you're gonna get a lot more casting distance, which is gonna mean that you're gonna catch more fish given that you're gonna be able to cover more area with less effort. Because at the end of the day, it's really a numbers game. If you're throwing a lot of artificial lures, it's really a numbers game. It's he or she who can get their lure in front of the most fish is gonna catch the most fish. And if you're able to get an extra 30 feet of casting distance on average every cast, you're gonna be catching more fish. And if you're curious on what lines I was using, I was using just normal Power Pro for, for both cases just to have a, an apples to apples comparison. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any other questions at all. Otherwise, I hope you can get out of the water soon and catch some big ones. Live so strong and wear the line today.